Welcome to MMA Odds Breaker. I'm Nick Kalikas. Joining me today, I have Jeremy Botter and Reed Kuhn. Let's get started. Fight number 18 from UFC Tough 17 finale, a battle between Uriah Faber and Scott Jorgensen, the main event. We're going to start off with Jeremy Botter first in this fight. Obviously, both guys very accomplished. Both have competed for the title one time. Uriah Faber, everybody pretty much knows uh, Uriah Faber if you follow MMA. Um, but as far as this matchup goes, intriguing matchup. I am going to have to open up Faber as a decent favorite here. Minus 400, the comeback on Jorgensen is going to be plus 280. So we're going to start off with Jeremy, like I said first. With your five dimes donated bankroll, who do you got? This number would honestly have to be pretty high for me to bet on Scott Jorgensen just simply because I believe it's a terrible matchup for him. He has never been good with guys like Uriah Faber who keep up a quick pace, who are very elusive with their foot. I mean, I'm not saying that Uriah has the kind of footwork that Dominic Cruz has, but he's got a different kind of footwork, different kind of style, and a different kind of wrestling. He's a fantastic wrestler. Scott's never been great at that, never been great at, uh, great at that defense. Um, for that reason alone, man, I just think it's a terrible, terrible matchup for Scott. The most interesting thing to me about this fight is that the two are managed by the same uh, company, and they're both friends, and so they're actually fighting each other, which which is one of those rare instances in fighting where we're seeing two friends fight each other, and I, I wonder if that's going to lead to anything different in the cage. But that's really the only thing I wonder about this fight. I have to take Uriah favorite at minus 400 because I think he is a huge, huge favorite here. Okay, so Botter is going to go with the juice here, minus 400. It's going to be 2000 to win $500 on favor over Jorgensen. Let's throw it over to Reed. What, Reed, what do you think about this fight? Well, I agree. I think even though the odds are steep, I think they'd have to be even steeper for me to start walking away from Uriah Faber. What I like about him is how intelligent he is in the cage. His transitions are smart. He's creative. He attacks. He goes for the finish. Um, on paper, they stack up. Uh, a little bit of an advantage size-wise to to Uriah Faber. Both both these guys are over the age of 30, despite their nicknames Young Guns and California Kid. Um, they are both very experienced. So I don't think um, any of that is enough for me to start start leaving Faber here. The, the stats are fairly simple, but um, Uriah Faber just has faced better competition along the way. I think he's always under the spotlight. He always steps up. And he always puts on a show, uh, whether it's being creative or, or just the scrambles. And I think he, he might get Jor Jorgensen in a more dangerous spot uh, than he's used to being in. And, and if, uh, if they don't choose to en engage aggressively, as, as we've noted, they're, they're pretty close friends. Um, eventually, the, everybody's going to be swayed by Faber's higher pace of activities. So i got to go with Uriah Faber here, um, e even though the, the juice is steep. Okay, so Reed is going to also lay the juice minus 400. It's going to be 2000 to win $500 on Faber over Jorgensen's. So both of our experts do agree that Faber should get the win here. And again, valid points made by both of you guys. They are friends. They're both multi-talented, well-rounded fighters. But I do give the advantage as far as matchup goes to Uriah Faber. That's how I had, why I had to open it a little bit steeper. Of course, the betting public loves Uriah as well. Um, we could see the line climb up even higher. I am going to adjust the line. It's going to hit the books. Minus 420. The comeback is going to be plus 300 on Jorgensen when it does hit five dimes. And I expect that line with parlay and everything else to probably increase after that as well. Can't exactly count Jorgensen out, but I do think that everybody's on the right track with Faber here. Make sure you guys stay tuned to MMA Oddsbreaker as we break more fights in the near future.